What does $1.5 million buy you in Oakland, California? Well, let's find out. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hans Strazina, and if you're here, you are looking to get tips, tricks, ideas, data, stats, anything that you can use to be more successful in the East Bay's real estate market. Uh, today, we're continuing this series of what the money bought, and we're gonna look at the $1.5 million price point in Oakland, California. When you get some value out of that, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna to continue to put out content just like this every week. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. So, uh, two things. Number one, when I started the Oakland series, I pulled the data a few days before I pulled this data. So you will see the unit numbers have actually increased a little bit. Uh, but one thing that I find fascinating is this year uh, alone in Oakland, California, year to date, we've sold more units than all three years prior uh, on, a, on an annual basis. Meaning there's been about a unit more per day that is sold in Oakland, California than in 2020, than in 2019 and 2018 respectively. So you wanna check that out when we pull up the data. Um, but you'll also see, interestingly, the houses at this price point have gotten a little bit smaller on average, but the bed bath count hasn't really changed that much. But what has changed an awful lot is the list price to sales price ratio. So let's get into this. All right, so here we are in the $1.5 million price point in Oakland, California. Let's check this out. Let's look at these numbers here. So going back all the way to 2018, what we can see is uh, for the last handful of years, we had about 22, 24 houses selling on average. And this year, boom, we've had a huge increase in the number of units trade. So um, really fascinating how the number has moved up there. The makeup of the house and how quickly they sold though didn't change all that drastically, which I was kind of surprised by because uh, in Alameda and then at other price points, they've gotten a lot smaller. Um, granted, this has changed a bit, but it hasn't, it's not the drastic change you've seen in some of the other ones, but the size has gone down quite substantially over the last handful of years. So you're packing more into a smaller footprint at this 1.5. Age, pretty negligible change there. Um, but the list price versus the sales price, this is one that people ask me all the time, is how do I figure this out? And at this price point, this is what you're looking at. Almost 30% over list this year is the average for an Oakland house that sells at $1.5 million. So if you're looking for something uh, that you want to spend 1.5 on, you need to be looking at a house that's listed around 1.15, uh, probably you know 1.2, 1.1, whatever, somewhere in that ballpark. Think 30%, which is a pretty big jump up from the last handful of years by 10 to 15% over the list price. Obviously the dollar per square foot has gone up because the price has stayed the same and the houses have gotten smaller. Um, but then this is also interesting about the market. We're at almost 18% of the market is over that 1.5 price point where it used to be about eight and 10% uh, respectively in the last couple of years. So the market has continued to push up as we've seen in the lower price points, as we've seen in Alameda, same thing. And then this is also interesting We've got a couple of condos and townhouses that got into this price point, which was really rare according to the last handful of years as well. So you're really seeing the value of existing real estate increase uh, of the square footage and then that price point just clearly becoming more and more competitive. All right, hopefully you got some value out of that. And since I know you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to continue to put out content just like this every single week and you're not going to want to miss it. So. In conclusion, that $1.5 million price point, obviously the dollar per square foot's gone up, days on market has gone down, uh, the house has gotten a little smaller, but the bed bath hasn't changed all that drastically. Uh, but the market has moved up. Uh, you're seeing a lot of property, a lot more property sell over the 1.5 million price point than you used to. You're gonna see that in the 2 million. You obviously saw that in the 1 million. I'll link to those up here when they're ready. Um, but you can check all of that out for yourself and really get an understanding of what the money is buying today because that's what this series is all about. I am gonna continue to do more cities around the East Bay with this exact same format. Uh, so if you wanna see more data about your city, about a city you're looking into, uh, 
drop it down in the comments. Let me know what it is. I'll put it higher on the list if I get some interest from some uh, from some of you guys who are watching. So without any further ado, my name is Hans Strazina with the Gunderman Group at Keller Williams Luxury International, signing off for now. See you on the next one.